Hey guys, in this video, we will be looking at how you go about updating records or making changes to existing records using the tools that the studio, the management studio has given to you. So we had looked at it in a previous video when we looked at inserting records and we had gone to the table that we would want and right clicked it and then we said edit top 200 rows. And that actually literally allows us to edit or update this data. So by doing so, we got this grid form of the data. And from this view, we can actually modify the query that is giving us this data here by clicking that SQL, show SQL pane. It may be in a different position based on your screen and your resolution, but you can just look for it right there. And it would show you the actual query that is being executed. So if you want more rows, we would have seen from our select statements that you can say top 200 or top 1000, or you can change it to what you want. By default, it's giving us a top 200. And this grid actually allows us to go in and make a change as we please. So we could insert a new row or we can modify an existing row. So I can change this student 11 to last name Wilburn and this one a Troy. And then we press enter and that change is made. And that is how you would go about updating. Firstly, if you put in an invalid value, then that update would not go through and the editor would give you an error message. And here you see that this error message came up saying that the value one is not a valid value for the type of column that we're using, which is the date time. It would not commit that change until it gets a legitimate value. So I'm just going to re-enter date of birth and press enter and there you go. It has been updated. So that's how you go about updating using the SQL management server studio.